the chambers of those who bleach their skin, poisoned in my wedding celebration, my dears, I got married two weeks ago, but something terrible happened to me last week, right in the middle of my wedding, I was poisoned, right after the wedding my health deteriorated, I could not speak for three days, I felt that I was dying, the poison had reached my internal organ and I felt inexplicable pain that I had never experienced in my whole life, I forgive these people that conspire to eliminate me because of this testimony and sound doctrine, you could have been talking about my death, but in the middle of the pain, I heard the Lord voice telling me, you still have a lot of time before you and you are not dying, these word of the Lord gave me great insurance, I did not know that I will stand here again to testify, but the one who art in heaven told me, you will continue to testify and you will not die, this latest attack helped me double my vigilance, in truth people that come close to us are not always our friend, the Lord told me, if I show you the person who had poisoned you, you will not believe for he is a pastor like you, my brother, I pray that the Lord forgive them, when they reach knowledge they will change, I want to seize this opportunity to thank you church for your presence in my wedding, however, I was not happy about your adornment that was worldly, though I was disappointed I could not react and tell you right there in the middle of the wedding celebration, for the pulpit is where we announced celestial sentence, the church that is in makeup, where women have painted face will not see God, we are living in the end of time as we see the fulfillment of prophecy, worldly adornment that I oppose was the order of the day in my wedding celebration, I saw women with painted faces in my wedding, church, I noticed that you had wig and fake hair on the head, I saw you women of this church with beauty powder and clothes exposing your back, this is despite my testimony of countless chambers of hell, it is clear that you people are not ready for heaven, you pretend going to heaven but you are not ready, my wedding was like an opportunity for you to lose yourselves, I was watching each one of you, I was happy for your attendance and service, however, given that I will give account for your souls I was not happy, you adulteresses. Do you not know that friendship with the world is hostility toward God? Therefore, whoever chooses to be a friend of the world renders himself an enemy of God, all the church had painted face, wigs and false hair, when I look at my wife I saw that she also had false hair and painted face, I was stunned, I said in my heart, if the trumpet was to blast now my wife you are staying, even if you hang on my feet, I will tell you my wife love between men and women is terrestrial not celestial. The treasure of eternity is what count for us, don't get me wrong church, I told God if I am gonna die with this poison let me warn this people for the last time, I want to talk to you today about the chambers of those who lighten their skin, the Bible say, although you wash yourself with soap and use an abundance of cleansing powder, the stain of your guilt is still before me, declares the Sovereign Lord, on that day in the night, the Lord came to tell me, I have to take you one more time in hell, to see those people that lighten their skin, destroying their epidermis, you will tell my people to remain natural, just like when they were born, my brother, if you were born with dark skin, please stay natural, those who are born light skin must stay natural, yet people want to bring correction to my creation you must come with me in this journey, in truth, I did not want to join the Lord for this experience beyond the grave was unbearable for me, it was reality beyond human imagination, I attended many biblical school of theology, but they never mentioned these things to me, I followed all kind of training but I was never told these things, it was very tough for me to accept these things I saw beyond the grave that lead to hell, when the Lord took me from home, in the blink of an eye we landed in hell, we were on top of a very high mountain, I saw a huge land before us, where there were crowds of souls with skin that were tongue, they were smelling the odor of death that was repugnant and unbearable. These things were tough, I saw countless souls in stampede seeking to escape, I saw demon pulling them back to the flames of fire, there was no exit and place to escape, this place was unbearable yet there were countless in this place. My dear brother, the skin and beauty that these people value on earth was miserable and bad in hell, I saw demon going after them leading them to dungeon of hell, this was perdition and eternal damnation, they cried to the Lord but it was too late for them, 
My dear when we landed in this vast plain of fire, I saw a machine inside the fire which I never saw in our world. These machines seem like grinding machine, I saw stable and shelf where souls of men were laid, I saw demon leading one soul after another in this place before the bar for judgment, I saw demon reading and reciting condemnation sentence against these souls, I mean when people die and fall in hell it's because of the sentence and condemnation of God, demon were reading sentences and judgment that fell to these souls that failed to keep the word of God. Every soul in this place stood before demon that were reading judgment and sentence, this was the judgment of conscious, where souls heard the cause of eternal condemnation, when the first soul stood before demon, they show him four photos of himself, the first picture was of his childhood, and this picture showed that he was dark skin, the second picture showed that this man in adulthood had resorted to lightning cosmetic product to become light skin, and I saw a demon coming with a bag containing lightning and cosmetic product, and all these product were shouting justice, the demon told this man, you transform yourself by changing the color of your skin, yet when your God created all things the Bible say that he saw that all thing were good, but you brought correction in the creation and work of your creator, but this man replied to this demon, I did it only for I wanted to be elegant, the demon asked him, are you trying to say that your creator is incapable to even give you what you need, why have you not attended his counsel in order to ask him to give you light skin, the man said how can I be in that counsel, the demon said don't you know that you cannot just do all you want on earth, this demon made clear that men were failing to realize that they are not free to do whatever they want, I thank God that no one in this church has changed his skin with these lightning lotion. I was using lightning lotion many years ago and I was attracting attention, I was doing various combination of various lotion and tube, we were like slave, people used to praise me, yet this demon in hell said, men are not permitted to do all they want on the land, the demon told this man, human are dependent creature, your God made you in a way that you are supposed to live depending on him, then I saw this giant demon rising and talking a machine that was like an iron heated in high temperature, and the demon ironed this man the way we iron so, in order to remove his skin, and then he showered the man in acid, it was such horror and atrocious torment, what a suffering, the man was burned like a fish on the grilled, yet this was not a fish but a fellow human being, a lost soul, the demon told him, we are removing the epidermis that your creator gave you in order to make you whiter than snow, the man screamed oh my god, the man shouted O Lord God, and began to implore the mercy of God, the demon asked him, which God are you taking about, which God are you invoking in this place, on the land you were a worshipper of your beauty, what you liked the most was worship and your beauty, this man begged the Lord but it was too late, he was tormented in this horrendous place, as demon were showering him with acid he was screaming, and his torment was rising, then I saw a woman that was tormented, as demon cut her throat, the Lord told me, she was taking pill to lighten her skin, demon were tormenting and scratching her breast, the Lord said when she was alive she was applying product to lighten her breast, which were catching men attention, the Lord showed me a woman that was honored in a song that pay tribute to her beauty, the Lord said she used her beauty as a source of income to live in prostitution, she went out with people of all class as a result she was infected by HIV AIDS, she used all kind of soap and lotion to lighten her skin, she was crying to the Lord and holding a photo of her youth when she was at the peak of her beauty, she said woe to me, the world paid tribute to my beauty, Lord give me an opportunity to return to earth to recover my beauty, I am lost forever, I said to the Lord is it wrong for men to apply lotion, the Lord said you don't understand these things, men can take care of their body, men have to wash and use lotion for their skin and use perfume, all this without trying to bring change to their natural skin color, make sure to not change your skin, I am not against people taking care of themselves, but against changing the natural skin color, only against depigmentation. women must take care of their natural hair, but should avoid wigs, they should not use jewelry or pearlies, for I am opposed to all these, they can comb their hair but must not put fake hair, in hell I also saw the feet of a person that was grinded in a machine, it was a woman who used to lighten the skin of her feet with lightning lotion, 
The demon told her, Do you know that your feet has seduced many men? She cried to the Lord for deliverance but it was too late. Then I saw a woman who was wearing eyelash, demon had introduced hooks on her two eyelash, and they were pulling her all over the place. They were also introducing what seems like sting in her eyes, the Lord said, I made my creatures beautiful, men must keep what I gave them, men must take care of what I gave them, they should stay the way I made them and should not seek transformation of their physical appearance, they should not add to what I created, for I am opposed to that. At that moment I saw a group of demon talking to one another, saying, we must do something, you know men are ignoble, we must do what it take to stop them from reaching the knowledge of truth, let us set up laws, I saw them writing laws, the first of their law say, it is not a big deal, it's nothing, I heard demon saying, they won't see the gravity of their action, they would think that their law will tolerate their deeds, the Bible say, you have done these things, and I kept silent, you thought I was just like you. But now I rebuke you and accuse you to your face, 